Hello. Hope you're very well. Welcome. Welcome to another vlog. Um, we have just got back from the Amalfi Coast. We went to Sorrento. We went to Capri. We went to Positino. And it was pretty fucking lit. <laughs> The one thing I will say though, look at them. The one thing I will say though is that I feel pretty fucking jet lagged. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I suppose like Italy is only like a two hour flight. The time zone is only like an hour away. But yeah, I was saying to Nat the other day. I I, feel, I almost feel like I've been to fucking America. That's how kind of fucked I feel post post vacation. However, we're gonna push through because. Mama didn't raise no bitch, so uh, yeah, um, I've just finished up some check-ins, I finished up a little bit of AM work, and what better thing could you do when you feel pretty fucking tired than go for an 11k cycle? Yep. <sighs> but yeah, no, there, there, there is some rationale to it, mainly from the simple standpoint of on rest days, I did tell myself that I am going to... I'm gonna cycle, right? Um, so if I say I'm gonna do something, I am going to do it. Um, obviously I did have a fair few days resting whilst I was out in Italy, but um, yeah, I mean, from the amount that I was sweating, uh, I'll count that as cardio. It was very, 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 very hot out there, but very nice, very uh, very Italian, very beautiful. Also uh, also brought back the goods, brought back the uh, the olive oil, for, for some reason, when you get olive oil here, it's so expensive. This is, well, I say, it's cheap as fuck. It's relatively cheap. Um, and we also got, if you know anything about this, um, we also got this. This mixed in with cream of rice is just, yeah, just very, very, very Italian hands. Just got finished up with a with a very exciting call. Um, a very exciting call regarding the future of the coaches trainer and the future of Elevation, which is the coaching business as well. So we coach clients and also we coach coaches how to coach. And yeah, it's about to get leveled the fuck up on both elements. So yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for this. So yeah, that kind of scuffles tomorrow's plan because basically I was going to take you through today's rest day and then a train day tomorrow. However, because of this, I now need tomorrow to be a rest day. So what we're going to do is go train now. So yeah, okay, that's the plan. So I'm going to take you through a push and quad day at Kratos. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do a voiceover as well because there is absolutely no information in this vlog. There wasn't any information in the last vlog either, so let's give some value. Hey up, Doc, it's me, it's Jack again. Hope you missed me, uh, I bet you did. Anyway, we're gonna get into today's push and quad day and also talk about a couple of things. Number one, why I'm no longer log booking with my arms, and number two, I've also got a change with this session here um, in terms of an exercise, and we'll also explain the rationale with that. So. The reason and a big reason why I haven't or no longer logbook my arms is is quite simply from the simple standpoint of you as a bodybuilder, right? Um, I'm presuming you're a bodybuilder here. How very presumptuous of me, but you got to think how many numbers you track on a daily basis, right? Macros, um, scale weight, resting heart rate, like gym numbers. You got to think that everything that we do, everything we touch data point wise is numbers, right? And at not even a some level, at a lot of levels, right? Um, this causes a like psychological fatigue, psychological psychological demand, right? So when we have a lot of numbers to track, um, there just becomes, I suppose, like more and more and more of a of uh, an opportunity for you to be fatigued, right? So where we can kind of like drop away fatigue, which in this element is dropping away some number variables, where we can do that, I'll do that. I kind of trust that on a week to week basis, I am going to be progressing with arms just from the simple standpoint of I'm going to be, I suppose, like increasing my body weight as we come up in this off season. So, and, and then kind of like mass moves mass, right? So I'm trusting that if I'm close to failure and my body weight's driving up, I'm trusting that I'm going to be progressively overloading, right? And also I am running visuals as well. So I'm taking weekly check-in shots. And if I 
don't like where my arms are, I can quite simply just go back to log booking. But right now, it's just trying to eliminate a tracking variable that's causing a little bit of psychological fatigue, right? And again, where we can remove psychological fatigue, we'll do that because essentially you'll be able to focus in a gym a lot more effectively and your mesocycles in general will be longer, which is good, right? So yeah, that's basically the rationale there. I had a few, I suppose it would be queries off the back of that vlog the other week uh, over on Instagram. So yeah, I thought I'd basically clarify that. This is the only change in my um, microcycle at the minute, which is basically uh, doing basically a delt. I suppose it would be, um, I suppose it would be like a finisher. I suppose it would be like just, I suppose it would be like a muscle round within itself, right? Um, just working the short, mid, and then lengthen range here. Um, but quite simply, I was finding three sets of uh, delts uh, at the start, and then three sets towards the end were just absolutely battering or it's battering my pressing essentially so i've reduced volume down and i've gone towards this like burner set and uh yeah lo and behold my pressing is uh is flying again so yeah that's the only change so far um and then yeah any questions about anything uh let me know but that was my pushing quad session we are going to get back to the vlog now but yeah just as a side note by the way my training right now is absolutely fucking great i'm the strongest i've ever been by far I'm enjoying training, which is awesome, and that's the main thing. And yeah, I contribute it to a, a couple of things. Obviously, more food, but yeah, just uh, just excited to, to grow in this off season, essentially. Uh, but yeah, strength is is wild at the minute. Anyway, back to the vlog. Hope you all see you in literally two seconds. Well, that was a productive session, Sally. Um, yeah, that was a that was actually a very productive session. To be fair, um, I love going into sessions, and I just feel like fucking indestructible. Um, and that's pretty much the whole entire off season so far. So yeah, very happy. Anyway, I'm going to eat my post-workout meal, which is basically 250 grams of mince, 250 grams of, uh, rice. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word rice then. That's how fucking mashed my brain is. And then I've got some salad in here as well. Sprinkle with some vegan mayo because I am, I am vegan eating 250 grams of mince. Uh, I actually prefer vegan mayonnaise, maybe an, un, an unpopular opinion, but not really. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you all, well. hope you enjoyed the style of this vlog. It's slightly different to, to the normal style of vlogs. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. Hope you all. Well. And uh, pray for me. Because, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting a cold. Uh, I don't really like colds. I suppose no one likes colds. Anyway, <laughs> see you later.